Oh, hello, darlings. It's time to get our evil on. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to yet another brand new movie review. And as always, I thank you all so much for stopping by, and I hope you enjoy your stay. Yep, it's time. Here we are. We're looking at Cruella, the latest addition to the canon of Disney's midlife crisis, all consisting of remakes and or reimaginings. And this is a film directed by Craig Gillespie, who also brought you I, Tanya. I mean, you can just tell. And it, of course, stars Emma Stone as the effervescent and oh-so-diabolical Cruella de Vil. I will admit, first off, that it's very jarring to see that this is not Glenn Close. Not to take anything away from Emma Stone, of course, because she is absolutely more than capable. What's the premise? Well, we first meet Stone as Estella. She's a young and clever grifter who's determined to make a name for herself as a fashion designer. What a brilliant connection that is. She soon meets a pair of thieves named Horace and Jasper who appreciate her appetite for mischief, and together they build a life for themselves on the streets of London. But when Estella befriends fashion legend Baroness Von Hellman, played by Emma Thompson, she embraces her wicked side to become the raucous and revenge-bent Cruella de Vil. So guys, I gotta be honest, I really was not looking forward to checking this one out. I mean, this whole streak of remakes and reimaginings under Disney's banner have been kinda hit or miss. You get films like The Jungle Book, which a lot of people, including myself, say actually improved on the original, but then you got Maleficent, Mulan, Aladdin, which just all suck. And I really didn't know what to expect walking into Cruella, and yes, I did watch this in the theaters. Some have hyped this up just based on the trailers to be Disney's version of the Joker movie, and I don't know if I want to say it was that good, but I'll be damned, I couldn't help but smile throughout this film. I had a total blast watching Cruella. Craig Gillespie directs this thing with so much vivacious energy that seeps through every frame, and even though this film has a pretty beefy runtime at 2 hours and 14 minutes, there's such a frantic pace to it. It's all shot and edited extremely well, and Cruella never really feels like it overstays its welcome. Now while I'm on the topic of looks, before I forget, this film looks absolutely beautiful. The production design screams 1970s, which is definitely a clever time period to set a Cruella origin story up in. And for a film all about fashion, the costumes had to be freaking insane. And... They are. I think this design team should be incredibly proud of all the work they put into this. And the actors should all be proud of themselves too. Emma Stone is fabulous as Cruella de Vil, which like I said, in live action form, these are truly big shoes to fill, seeing as how this isn't Glenn Close. But I really respected the fact that Emma Stone was so willing to step out of her comfort zone and play someone so against her type. And Stone was so delightfully evil when she had to be. Definitely a lot of prowess and presence, but she's also surprisingly vulnerable when she has to be. There's one monologue that she delivers at a fountain, and it's just I don't want to say I teared up at it, but you can tell this is definitely the emotional pull of this film. Man, I gotta give her credit where it's due. Stone really does deliver an outstanding performance, as does Emma Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> like, my god, she may have stolen every single scene she has. And let's just say that in a movie focused on one of the most iconic Disney villains ever, for a movie like this to provide us with one of the most vicious new villains we've seen in a Disney film in ages, that is quite the accomplishment. And Thompson absolutely relishes every moment she has with this character, who is the most despicable being you may ever find walking the planet. And you can definitely see the mentor-protege dynamic clearly between Emma's Thompson and Stone, and they have some really great chemistry together. And that brings me into another big praise I have for Cruella, and I can't go too deep into this because I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but I really appreciated the fact that this movie was continuously able to surprise me. Now, I will say that some Disney purists may have a huge issue with the twist in this, but... It's a reimagining, so you have to expect them to make some changes here and there. And this was actually a good change, unlike, you know, Maleficent, which was stupid. No, my big issue with this movie is actually the soundtrack. And I can't believe I'm saying that, because the choices they make for this soundtrack are really, really good. But I think this film suffers from the same detriment that Disney's Tarzan film does. You know what I'm talking about. Basically, they're all the Phil Collins songs coming in, and they're basically forcing you to feel something at any given moment. You feel the same way watching Cruella, especially towards the opening half of this film. 
the songs kind of got annoying after a while, which no soundtrack should ever make you feel like. Also, I gotta talk about this ending. Again, no spoilers, of course. It took me a while to really get behind this ending. Now, in hindsight, thinking about it, this could be a really, really clever finale. But for a first-time watch in the theater, I got it, but I feel like it came off a lot more convoluted than it needed to be. I mean, besides those couple of issues, I was very pleased with this film. And if they want to do more with Emma Stone's Cruella down the line, I am not opposed in the slightest. I'm gonna give Cruella a B. Yeah, color me surprised, guys. Not a bad live-action adaptation on Disney's part. What a concept! They finally broke in the spell. Yeah, in all seriousness, I definitely recommend checking this one out too if you haven't. But this is all just one guy's opinion. What do you guys think of Cruella? Do you agree with me? Do you not? And I'm also curious, what is your guys' favorite Disney live-action remake or reimagining? Is it this film? Is it another one like The Jungle Book or Cinderella? I mean, as long as long as it's not Aladdin, you know, because that film's sh but joking aside, I'd love to discuss all of these thoughts down in the comments with you guys. As you all know, I love making these videos and starting the discussion with you guys, so let's continue it further. And hey, if this is your first time visiting the channel today, if you guys like what you saw, definitely consider smashing that big red subscribe button down below as much as you like, as hard as you possibly can. It's completely free, number one, and you guys will also be the first ones to know anytime a new upload hits the channel. And one last reminder, guys, on your way out, be sure to hit that big thumbs up, too. And as always, look out for more more exciting content hitting this channel very very soon you guys are the best and with all that being said back talk commence